Hey, Mr. Wonderful here. I'm about to watch a really interesting video. Now, let me give you the title of this. It's going to wake you up if you're feeling a little sleepy today. Living on $650,000 in Los Angeles. 650,000 smackaroos. How is she doing that? We're going to find out. That is a ton of money. I started off out of college uh, making history by becoming the youngest trader at the New York Stock Exchange as well as the second African American woman to work down there. I made $12,000 and I currently, fast forward today, make $650,000. So we got a hint here. She started as the youngest trader on the New York Stock Exchange floor. So she's all about financial services or at least knows that. Now she wasn't getting paid a lot, it sounds like, so she must have pivoted. Let's find out what she did. 27, 650,000. <laughs> when people ask me, what do I do? I generally give a generic response. I work in finance, but actually I'm an author. I'm a producer. I'm a host of a Spotify podcast as well as a TV series. And I am an investor and I sit on a few boards of different financial companies. Okay, stop right there. How's she making that money? She's got a podcast, mm -hmm. Spotify. That's huge. That's paying a lot of money to her. Mm -hmm. She's producing content as a social media magnet. When you build up a base and you can monetize it because people respect what you say and what you think, that's how you make money in the new digital economy, America 2.0. Now, I want to find out what she's doing with that 650 because making it's one thing and how you actually spend it is another. So let's listen. But check it out. This is going to be key. I think it's a major pillar in how this works out. When you teach your children about saving at an early age, it stays with them for the rest of their lives. So I, I'm going to bet she's very savvy about putting money aside. Let's see. She has always been very strict when it comes to budgeting and saving, putting me on her credit cards early on so I could build that credit before I turn 18. To this day at 27, I rely a lot on my mom. I hear her voice even if I don't talk to her whenever I make purchases over $100. my firm, everybody that was entry level walking into the door was making $12,000. But other people at other firms, I learned entry level, same qualifications that I had, same job that I had was making $120,000. Okay, so get this. She's basically being paid as an intern with the firm she was with in the New York Stock Exchange as a trader. And she knows that if you're a full-time employee somewhere else, you can make 10x. She's getting 12 and everybody else is getting 110, 120. So Obviously, if you're motivated, and she seems to be, she's going to figure that out pretty quickly. Let's find out what she does. So basically, she says to herself, all right, now that I know how this game works, I'm not accepting a job that for less than 120000 a year. That's a good start. Setting that goal is very good. That's basically twice the average salary in America. But if you know what you're doing, you can get there. This $23 is very cheesy, but I move it with me everywhere. This is the last $23 from the check that I received at the New York Stock Exchange, and I keep it with me to just essentially keep my money growing, but also to be a reminder of where I started and where I'm at now. Okay, an observation. She's building a personal brand. That was impossible to do 20 years ago. With social media, you can really get out there and monetize who you are. That's what she's done. She's transparent. She's telling her story. It's very engaging. She's a model. I mean, she's put this incredible package together that makes her really special. My apartment is 750 square feet. I spend $3,850 a month and I pay that all up front. So I'm not stressed about paying uh, my rent on a month to month basis. This woman's an entrepreneur. She knows she's got risk on income, even though she's knocking it out of the park right now, but that may not be sustainable forever. Who knows? There's a lot of risk when you're looking at multiple sources of income and you're doing it on an entrepreneurial basis. So you want to be saving and investing at the same time.
Whoa, now we find out she's completely debt free. That is a goal anybody would want to have before you're 30. If you can get debt free before you're 30, you're in the game, my friend. That's the key. I'm getting more and more impressed with this woman every minute. I got into meditating because I was 19, went through a terrible breakup, and I just needed answers. And someone suggested to me, actually my boyfriend before we broke up, meditating, that's almost now going on uh, 10 years. Having that routine uh, in this crazy world that I have really helps for my mental sanity. It flows into the productivity of, of my entrepreneurial endeavors. Shout out to my ex for making that happen for me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, another key to success here is mental stability, mental health, physical health. She works out, she meditates. Everybody's got to find that special place to keep them sane because the world's a really crazy place, obviously. And when you're doing an entrepreneurial job, when you're working a lot of hours, you've got to stay healthy. That's braggy if I say I'm good with money. <laughs> Am I good with money? I think everyone's personal finance journey is just that. If I'm being really truthful, I don't think me making 12,000 and me making 650,000 is that much of a difference and I'm sure everybody's going to be looking at me like I'm crazy. I am an aggressive saver like my mom. I save 85% of my income. 85%? Yippee-yi-yo-ki-yay. I mean, that's really smart. That's really smart. She's basically just paying for a variable cost and putting all the rest away. It's how she puts it away that's going to matter next. I do believe a digital currency will be permanent and it'll stay within our infrastructure. But for right now, it is highly speculative. But once it becomes centralized, and I don't think any of the cryptocurrencies that are currently out today will be the ones, I think it'll be a new one entirely. Yes, of course, I will put my money into that new digital currency. After all, Bitcoin's not a coin, it's software. Ethereum is software, Solana's software, Polygon software. So she, she understands that this hasn't been regulated yet. I'm very proactive on crypto because I think it's gonna be a big part of the economy. One day I think it'll be the 12th sector of the S&P. But for now, if you're conservative like Lauren, you don't play till you get the rules. That's what she's saying, nothing wrong. It is awkward to say I'm on track to become a millionaire. As much as I embrace talking about salaries and being open, I do think there is this nuance, especially with women. We don't get the same kudos as our male counterparts. It means everything to me personally because I'm the first person in my family to graduate with a college degree. Something about this small town girl. <laughs> Just making moves in life is rewarding, but also just, you know, my family and I, we've come a long way and I'm super grateful. She's taken advantage of social media and built a personal brand as an entrepreneur. And you have to respect her because she's told her story in a very relevant, honest way. Humble family beginnings, a really smart mother. She learned her lessons and she applied it and she stuck to it and she built this incredible business around who she is. Wow, I'm really impressed. If you are making 100,000, 200,000, a million, you don't have to go crazy with your lifestyle. You can be normal and you know experience life, but also save and really budget for the future. I'm excited to watch this video in five to 10 years from now and to see where I'm at. Maybe running for president. <laughs> Fantastic. I want to see this video five years from now, too. I'm so impressed with her. She's so pragmatic. She knows she has to invest for the future. Budget for the future. That's what she said. That's what you have to do, too. She is the living example of how you can take humble beginnings and knock it out of the park in America. That's what she did. Fantastic. Lauren, congratulations. I can't wait to see what happens next with you. What would I give Lauren out of one to ten? Well, I've never done this before. I'm gonna give her an 11.
When you're an entrepreneur, you're living 25 hours a day, which is what she's doing, and she didn't let that get in the way. Everybody has setbacks. Everybody has a hard time. It's what you do afterwards that matters. It's what you learn. And obviously, her mother gave her a lot of good advice. She's an 11, 100% 11.